Can you guys guess where I am? Let me give you a quick hint. I'll reveal the city to you right after the intro. Yes, I'm exploring Atlanta. I've always wanted to visit the city. Uh, it's quite popular. They have the most famous Real Housewives shows for starters, and there's just a lot in the city. And as I can't wait to explore and see what the city has to offer me as usual. Uh, please don't forget to like and subscribe and comment as I explore Atlanta together. If you've been to Atlanta before, let me know some things you like about it and places I should visit, because I plan to come here a lot more often than usual. So do let me know, tell me. Come here, visit here, I'll check it out. So Atlanta's pro produced some of our favorite media, uh, media outfits from uh, CNN to Jordan, uh, Real Housewives of Atlanta to Jordan Peele. And it's a city that is equally quite rooted in American history. Martin Luther King had a very, very strong impact here. And I'm gonna be exploring um, some of his legacies. We're going to the park. So let me first start in this place is called Sentinental Park District. Uh, let's go check it out and uh, we'll see what we can get out of it. These are really nice flowers, really beautiful. It comes in an amphitheater. It's kind of similar to the one in Chicago as well, where there's an amphitheater where the, near the Black Bean. It's pretty similar to this. Some nice hotels, you can see CNN up here water fountain as well oh look at that very cool okay we have a lot to explore in the city today but well, let's just keep it going You guys know Atlanta was hosted Olympics and as a result of that they created an Olympic park so that was the park I was going to where wow, I've seen this beautiful uh, water fountain play out absolutely love it looks stunning and uh, I think uh, that's a good sign of things to come as well I'm looking for to see if I'm gonna run into any popular uh, Atlantic celebrity and it's done a lot of celeb leaves here uh, Cardi B uh, Usher Real Housewives crew Tyrese, let's see what happens, who knows? Who knows, maybe, but so far I'm in the Olympic Park and I am just uh, checking it out, let's see. Hmm. So trust the selfie generation or the Instagram generation, yep. <laughs> oh my goodness. This is so much fun. So you can see some names on the ground, but I don't know if you guys can see it, but there's some names on the ground. Um, I don't know who they are, but I guess they must have been very, very important people because uh, probably winners, I'm guessing. Oh, this is a sculpture of the torch of it. You guys can see it. This is definitely one of those parks where the people come, relax, and just have a good time. And I already feel like a local just seeing up uh, interacting around, you know, just chilling and being in the elements. The, the water is very soothing, so I can imagine how nice it is here when everybody's out here, maybe like for a picnic or during a park. Yermos are amazing, so. Olympic Park's done, and uh, let's go see what the next spot is gonna be. So that is the College uh, Football Hall of Fame. As you guys can imagine, 
this is American uh, football is pretty popular here. In other parts of the world, probably not, but here it is, and it's a massive thing for them. It's right next to the Olympic parks, which only makes sense anyways, so. So yep, that's the College Hall of Fame. I'm not going to it, but American football is pretty popular in North America, but in other parts of the world, it's not really popular, but you know, it's a thing here, and uh, you see so many. This is the uh, Georgia Aquarium. Oh, it's not white, my bad. Um, obviously, I'm not gonna explain what an aquarium is, but you guys probably know what it is, where you can find all manners of aqua life in water, and you can make a decision about um, what you want from it. Take a look at that. So, in here you can find the aquarium, you can also find some restaurants and students and citizens around. This is a really nice spot to be in. So here is it. Um, to be honest with you, I've seen lots of aquariums last a lifetime, so I'll not be going inside it, but um, it's right. Uh, I think one thing I like about Atlanta as well, which is kind of similar to Chicago, is everywhere you need to visit, you're all kind of close to each other, so you don't have to worry about uh, certain things. And I can imagine Coca-Cola being a very massive impact here. Oh, here's water. Oh, okay. We're going into water of Coca-Cola, so that's... Uh, guaranteed to happen but for now so i'm going to put the water for coca cola as a separate uh content you guys can have a look at it but it's also the center of civil and human rights as well which i'm walking towards oh this is so much fun so i'm going to be learning about the history of coca cola and that's going to be in a separate video entirely Just walking down the streets of downtown and uh, capturing some amazing sights of the beautiful what downtown Atlanta has to offer. So you can see lots of buildings. I kind of like it because it's not as busy as uh, New York, but it's still busy in its own way. It kind of reminds me a lot of Toronto. 